What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. As we hang out for a little bit, and I've got to decide what it is exactly I want to accomplish today. So we could retreat back. There's a lot of things that need to get done. That's the main thing, is that there are things we need to accomplish, and there's just really no way around that. Our sanity is a little bit messed up because we're spending too much time in the dark. I could sleep through. Oh, we got seashells over here, though. Why can't you pick those up? Sometimes I feel like... See, so how come some of these are pick upable and then otherwise you cannot? Huh. Maybe it's because it's inside his area of influence as a pig man? I don't know. Hey, let me pick up that one right there. Examine seashell, walk to seashell. Starting to wonder... I don't know, I'm not going to think about it too much. Starting to wonder if my keyboard's bugged and it's like holding down the... I'm wondering if my keyboard's actually broken. My keyboard is kind of old. It's possible. What I want to do right now is in today's episode, this is probably going to be a short one just because I'm on a bit of a time crunch before I started recording this. And I didn't realize it until I sat down to do it. And then I was like, well, shit, I'm an asshole, I guess. So you guys are just going to have to bear with me for today. This might be a little bit of a short episode, but I promise we're going to try and accomplish something here. I streamed the game for like three or four hours the other day and really just got some practice in. And so now I've got a pretty decent idea of what it is we need to accomplish. However, the vast majority of our time on the front end of this episode, on the little front end, the little knobby that's on the front of the episode, don't look directly at the knobby, but it's there, believe me. We're going to have to go back to Shield Island or Crest Island or Kite Island or whatever the hell it is we called it. I'm not good at naming things, and I'm also really, really, really not good at remembering them. we got to go back over there, and there are things to accomplish. we got to set ourselves up a real campfire. That's the first thing, and so I don't care what we have to do before we get there. Ah, uh, the water is going the wrong direction. That's unfortunate. I wish the water was not going in the wrong direction, but it is. And so unfortunately, wishes do not come true. Let's go ahead and sweep around this real fast. I think we should be able to get our sanity back pretty easily with seashells. I'm not going to stress too much about it. We are going to have to deal with hands tonight, though, I guess. Ah, shenanigans. Shenanigans, I say. I felt like I snuck in between those two. I was like, yep, and I made it. Although, I will say that the waves are really, really fair as far as they work. Like, so far, I've never felt super cheated when a wave hits me. There's a bird up there. That's what we... Oh, there's a chest over here, too. A barrel. You can attack it, but it's got a skull on it, which makes me think it's like a sea mine or it's going to blow up or something. There's also a triangle over there. I need more grass is what I need. If I could get some more grass, Giggity... I think I don't think that's a giggity. Actually, that's more of just like a pothead giggity. So I guess you could say patigity. I guess I'm making up my own words now. It doesn't matter. Stick with me. We'll be okay. I promise. I just people said that I'm monotone. I'm trying to be more emotive now. I don't know. I got. I'm, I'm trying to modulate. Maybe I do get into a monotone sometimes. I read that. So I was like, yeah, you get kind of monotone sometimes, and I never realized it. Like it's hard to be self-aware about shit like that. I don't want to mess with any of these crappy little poison squirrels down here. Go away. Just when you thought squirrels couldn't get any worse. I hate squirrels. Squirrels are the worst. I've had pet squirrels, though. They don't make very good pets. They're definitely going to bite you. Eventually, they're gonna. the wildness is going to come out, and then it's going to make you sad, and you're not going to want to hang out with them anymore. We do have a pretty good supply of food right now, actually. Taking a look at what we've gathered. We got out there, and we've explored the island a little bit better. That's a dogfish right there, as far as I know. You should be able to catch him if you had yourself a fishing rod, which I think we do somewhere. Where's my campfire at? My campfire is over here. Okay. Well then, I'm going to pick up a couple of seashells real fast. we got a bunch of crap laying around on this side. Unfortunate. However, there's still... Oh, God. This is our house, huh? Man. We need to work on this. We need to get on top of this. All right, so let's put you guys in there. I don't think there's really anything else over here that... I'm really, really enamored with that needs to be with me, like, right this second. Go ahead and drop the shovel, which is kind of like dropping the base. A little bit less wobba wobba, but it's still alright. I mean, it's reasonably enjoyable. I should probably actually, we got a couple minutes left. Let me take the shovel real fast. And while we're holding on to the shovel, I'm going to dig some of these stumps real quick. Oh, look, there's more snake oil over there. Go ahead and pick this on up. I, I read in your comments that the snake oil doesn't do anything, which disappoints me. It feels like if you're going to use snake oil as the designator for something, it should be awesome and do something that I want it to do. Snake oil is pretty cool. I mean, if you can sell it to somebody, 
That's pretty awesome by you. I mean, good for you. Apparently the snake bush is up here. We got lots and lots of wood laner. Oh shit. I wasn't paying attention to the time again. It is possible that I might get myself into trouble here. We don't have a thunderstorm going just yet. That doesn't still make me feel confident though. Luckily there's no wind or anything else. So in tomorrow's tasks, what I'd really, 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 really like to do is we need another chest as well. So let's go ahead and refine up a couple more boards. Yes, please. Yes, please. And yes, please. We'll go ahead and combine those stacks. And then we've got enough for another chest, which I will place right here. Perfect. I haven't had a chance to sort these chests out yet. I would like to sort them out. We got the electrical doodad. Okay. Got to find ourselves some gold, some kroner, some gilder, whatever it is we want to have. And I think I know the place where we can get it from. But before we go out, we got enough flint, so that's nice to know. What kind of tools am I dealing with here? We got a busted-ass shovel, which is not my favorite. I think the nights are getting shorter, though. I think we're going to have a longer dusk period. Those flowers are about to go bad, so I'm just going to eat them real fast to get some health back. I have my hammer. Indeed, I do. I have a pickaxe. I need another shovel. Okay. Well, let's shovel up real fast. Don't think I'm going to need the log suit. What happens if you get attacked by hounds while you're out on the open sea? What happens then? It's a question that I've yet to ask. We also need to go get some grass really badly. Ooh, there's doubloons over here. Yes, please. How many doubloons do I have? Probably not enough. Where did my doubloons go? Did they just blow away in the wind? It's possible they did. They should be around here somewhere. I'll focus on getting my sanity back up today. And collecting doubloons is not a bad idea because you can gamble with them. I was playing, I found a gambling machine, and it gave me like 100 food for one doubloon, and it was great. It was my first pull, too, those one-armed bandits. Those one-armed bandits. Fire looks like it's going to go out, but I think we can make it. I don't want to add more fuel if I don't have to. It seems like a waste to me. Got beard hairs over here. A lot of beard hairs, actually. A weird quantity of beard hairs. We got a couple of random, bu or random building materials. Not randy building materials. That would be a little bit more stressful. Like, why are you so excited right now? Just the side of you, baby. Just the side of you, baby. Got doubloons on this side. Go ahead and gather those up real fast. Got a little bit of wet silk left, too. But I'm not really, really confident about what this is all going to do for me. Yeah, I don't have enough doubloons to do the thing that I wanted to do. So for right now, what we are going to have to do is... Is my raft going to hold out? I'm a little bit worried about this. How beat up is ye olden raft? Because if it's in really rough shape... Uh, it should make the trip, I think. It should make the... Wait, is this a different raft? What about this one? No, that one's definitely busted. That one ain't going to work for shit. Let's not use that one at all. Not even going to risk it. Not worth it. If I have to, I could build another one. I got machetes and everything else with me for right now that I would need in order to fix stuff up and get it moving. Oh, look, there's charcoal down here. I could have used that, too. Sooner or later, because of the windstorms, I'm going to have to go around and gather up all the shit that I've lost over the last couple days. I also need to get some coral while I'm over here, so I'm going to equip my pickaxe real fast. We're going to hit these coral beds. I'm also going to pick up any seaweed along the way that I can have. Just because, confidently, I know that we're going to need food long term. The game is actually pretty well fleshed out. I've had a lot of people asking me about whether or not the game is worth the effort. Like, should I buy it? Should I play it? Etc. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a typical Don't Starve game. It's a typical Don't Starve game. It's very well polished. Clay has done a really good job with it. I think the only game that Clay ever released underdeveloped was the first Don't Starve. And I think that was due to inexperience rather than anything else. Like, it really just didn't have anything to do in it the first time you played it. However, they've done a really good job lately with their last couple games of making sure that even though they're in early access, they provide you with at least 10, 20 hours of gameplay before you, you know, run into a brick wall or anything. Alright, so let's get that. The usage of this is for, we're going to use it for limestone a little bit later. It's how limestone is made. Not out of coral, actually, but it's made out of these little critters that live in the ocean, and then they die and fall to the bottom of the ocean. And then over time, pressure, temperature, all that fun geologic stuff, you end up with limestone. Hooray. It's more complicated than that, but I don't feel like talking about it right now. It is not a stimulating conversation. It's like, eh, it's alright. It's not a conversation that really gets the old juices flowing. Let's go ahead and, is this the island that I wanted? This is the island that I wanted. Good. Well, let's jump off the raft then. Jump off the raft. 
to the island now we pick all the grasses jump off the raft let's hang out now let's itch on our asses that's a song i've been working on i'm very passionate about scratching butt itches they're great scratching a butt itch is one of the finer things in life i really people are prudish people are very prudish but you know, when you got like that perfect itch and you just get to work at it for a little while you're like oh my god i'm so glad i'm in my own house right now like i'm not like out there doing it at the supermarket you know i keep it fancy when i'm out in public no i'm just kidding i don't do that these monkeys are going to be an issue, too. These monkeys are going to be a big problem for us. So I need these magma piles with the little gold things in them. I don't know exactly what happens when you dig these, though, so... It might be bad. Oh, Christ! Okay. Maybe I should stand back. Yeah, maybe you should. How long does that stay lit? Out of curiosity. Maybe I shouldn't dig it all the way. Maybe I should just dig it slightly. Like when somebody's like, Can you count, suckers? Can you dig it? I will say, yes, I can, but only down to these little piles right here. I don't know what the point is in digging them all the way. That's the part that's got me worried. Do they just stay like that forever? Because that would preclude me needing to use like a campfire. Oh, no, look at that. I wonder if they randomly flare up or if it's just like one of those things that, huh, I don't know. It launched my gold off to this side of the map, and I kind of need it. Seems like a really, really good way to start. Oh, look, that one didn't blow up. That one didn't blow up. We got enough gold to do some minor projects now, but not enough. We got to keep working at it, everybody. We got to keep working at it. I'm not going to mess with these ones over here. I don't know what your chances are of getting gold out of the ones that don't have gold on them. I'm going to assume pretty low, because your chances of getting gold out of those rocks tends to be a wee bit limited, too. Oh, man, this one's over here with all the monkeys. No! Do that right there. They can have all the other stuff, but I want the gold. Like, I don't care about any of the other stuff. Just the gold. Let me get some of my... Try and get some of my sanity back real fast, too. Get us back up to a suitable... There are so many monkeys over here. Like, holy shit. Eh. Oh, that one didn't blow up. Okay, good. I got enough stuff to start a fire, right? Okay. If I don't have enough stuff to start a fire, this might be a bad plan to be here right now. I I don't like it when I lack the materials I need to survive. The Gru. He's the Gru. Chop this tree down real fast. I wish we had eight gold. That would make me feel better. We we have a real need for gold right now. I also have a real need for grasses, so... Instead of resting on my laurels here, I think I'll try to pick up some of this stuff. Grasses over there, I don't think are going to be very helpful for right now. Yeah. You know, it's a tiny bit unfortunate. I wish we were a bit better off with regards to our gold situation. Four doubloons converts into one gold, but that's really not that much to work with. Uh, we're doing this tonight, are we? We're doing this tonight. All right, back up. I will run you to the shadows. Back to the shadows. Away with you, creepy hands. This is what happens when you camp next to satanic altars. Should have known better. And now I've just got to suffer the consequences. Got to do all my cooking while getting groped. Stop it. Go away. Monkey, hold them back. Your blank, dead-eyed stare, monkey. There we go. Hunger's looking better. We may have survived our first nasty season by luck and luck alone. Luck and stupidity, mostly. There was no skill involved in that victory. It just kind of happened that way. You get the hell out of here. Go away. My hat's about to break, too. That's a little bit weak and whack. I should probably piss off the monkeys, but I don't want them to throw tons of duty at me because I don't have a lot of sanity right now, and it makes me nervous. It's spear a monkey, I guess, if I was feeling, you know, ambitious. Like there were things in the universe that I wanted to accomplish here. Ah, almost got him. Almost got him. Ow. Let's 
Just gotta stay moving. Pick up the duty while I'm over here. Did you just throw another one at me, monkey? You better watch out. <laughs> you too, punk. That's right. I can make monkey mo I can make monkey noises just like you can. I think I'm gonna get caught up killing a monkey. Bring it. I'll stab a monkey in the dome. Like ah, and the monkey will be like ah, my dome. It has been stabbed. It has been subjected to the mutual cruelties of your stabature. I'm like you're goddamn right it has. I'll pick some more flowers so I can put on a garland before we leave. I think we need like ten or fifteen or something. Our hat's about to break anyways. Yeah, there it goes. Me hat is mucho broken. Perfect. And so now, if you ever wanted to walk around with flowers in your hair, darling, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I'll probably pick the grass over here, too, while I'm in the neighborhood. Just because I've had a lot of trouble keeping my grass in good stock. In good supply. Perfect. That 20 will do it for right now. I think we're going to set sail back to our island. All I want to do is recover right now. Just want to recover. That's it. If we can get ourselves back to the place where we were previously, I'll break down some of these rafts too. If we can make a better boat, that'd be super sweet. This is an episode where we could get a lot of reasonable things done. And I would like to do those because I feel like the episodes up until now have been a little bit iffy. Like I was earning my sea legs. And my sea face, and my sea spears, and my sea hands, and all that kind of stuff. However, now that I've gained a little bit of... Now that I've had time to gain myself a little bit of experience regarding the game, I think I'm going to try and recover solidly. So we've got all the stuff we need right now to get going. I don't know how much manure... Actually, we have a lot of manure. We might be able to make this work. This might be okay. Go away, parrots. I don't want you here. I'll pick up the manure real fast. And the unequivocal, like the number one thing we need right now before anything else is a lightning rod. So let's go ahead and mash that out real quick. I was aware of the object, by the way. It's not like I didn't know that it existed. It's just that we didn't have any gold for it and we weren't getting enough doubloons or anything else. I'm thinking like right there should be fine. That'll, it'll draw some of the ire of the Thunder God for a little bit. We've got two gold left, not nearly enough gold coins for us to... I don't think I can refine. I think you need four in order to refine. Oh, no, you need three. Okay. So we got three right there for the new science machine. We got doodads, which we already farmed out. We need planks and we need brick. Okay. So the next thing that I wanted to do is where's my hammer at? Let's go ahead and hammer this shiz. Pick up the remainders real fast. And now that we've done that, I want to make that guy right there. And so in order to refine limestone here, we should have enough of that. So there it is. Dump you on the ground real fast. We got the limestone. I think I've got sand laying around over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but I know I've got sand. Take those twigs too, because why not? I definitely need to break down all these rafts. Perfecto. I'll grab the waterlogged vines while we while we run around a little bit later. Sanity's still a little bit on the low side, but it should be good. I'm not confident about that, but we should be okay. What I need to do now is, if we can find that sand, what the hell did I do with my sand? There it is. I knew we'd have sand around somewhere. Let's throw you guys in there, you guys in there, we got that, I got the manure, we'll build ourselves. As soon as I get a few more things, Lockdown. I think we should be able to make our next science machine too. So this should be like This should definitely be an improvement episode for us where we move right along. I need you sir And so you want the chimney Because fire is not affected when you use the chimney the fire is not affected by You know wind and rain and all that kind of shit that gets in the way So if you've been having a problem with it like I did I was hoping that we would just duck lightning long enough I was not that lucky. We should probably go pick some limpets. I think we're just about out of food for today. We should also probably make a crock pot while we're at it. Haven't had a chance to do it yet, but it needs to be done. But I think a couple handfuls of limpets should be enough for us to get by for the day. And then once we've done that, it looks like our traps have kind of run out of luck over here too. That's a bit of a downer. 
I mean, I've left them there for a while. I don't know if the crabs just stop coming out once you get to a certain season. That's definitely possible. I'm going to pick up the seeds because we're going to be farming pretty soon, too. And once we start farming, we're going to need as many of those as we can pick up. A few more seashells to pick up. Just to keep that sanity a little bit higher. Really, really pleased, though. I'm thankful for the island that we've got right here. This island actually has just about everything we need, aside from wood. I've deforested it pretty well, but that's okay. I'm not going to concern myself with the specifics of the whole thing. Now would be the time when we would want to plant our trees down here. So let's get started. We got a little bit of gold down there. I'll grab it in just a moment. And that should allow us a much, much more consistent meal source. The dubs can come with me. I don't think these are going to fit in anywhere. Oh, no, we got doubloon spaces right there. Okay, perfect. Now then, for the evening, I'm going to drop these over here. I would love for you guys to drop a few more doubloons. If you can make that happen, that would be my favorite. The parrots are the ones that drop the doubloons, by the way, while you're running around and handling your biz. It should allow me to keep warm a little bit better. All right, so we got the lightning rod. It's kind of in the middle of everything. That should help out for a little bit. It's not like the perfect strategy that I could have enacted here. I'm not amazing at base building or anything else like that. But we've bought ourselves some time. This was a good episode for us. I think this was an episode for recovery. This was an episode to kind of get ourselves back to where we needed to be. I think if I could get an alchemy engine up and built, that would be the only other thing that would kind of moisten my britches, I guess. Got that over there. We got the blocks. We got one of the planks. Do I need two or do I need three of the planks? I need four. Huh. It's going to leave us a little bit wanting for wood. And we're not even able to do it. So I would rather rest with it for right now and we'll worry about it later. Throw you in there. Let's have a look at the map for anywhere that might be a little bit more... Well, actually, I haven't deforested this place that badly. I think we could get out in here, especially if I bring a shovel or something. Get a bunch of my little parts back. That'd be good. I think I could accept that as a potential thing we need to get done. The seashells, I think, don't really need to be inside of a chest. I have so many of them that one stack will be fine for right now. I have all of that in there. We'll go ahead and stack you on up. That looks loverly. And then we'll get ready to chop some wood today, I think. That sounds really, really good. Got the shovel all ready to go. Perfect. Enough axes to grind. Just a minute or two left, though. Not a whole lot of things left to do. And in fact... Yeah, let me go ahead. I'm going to break off the episode right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. I will see you in future episodes. I can guarantee that. Hi, do, everybody. I'll see you there.